Sarah and Chris, and we've been traveling the world for nine months starting in South America. We've learned so much about the world and ourselves and have definitely had some major ups as well as some downs. We recently hopped on our 20th flight for the year and landed in Bangkok. We spent our time here checking out some of the best local markets and the craziness that is Bangkok City. This week, we're changing it up for something a little different than what you're used to from us. We hope you'll join us for the ride. Don't forget to subscribe and join the adventure. Good morning, guys. Morning. So as you can see by the start of this video, it's a little bit different than normal. We usually make travel videos. If you're new here, you've been following along for a while. We've been traveling for the last nine months and basically all of our videos are about travel. This week is a little bit different. We've been wanting to volunteer basically the whole time we've been traveling, but we haven't really found anything that felt right. So we found this volunteer opportunity through WorkAway, which is essentially a website where you can go on and they have different volunteer programs or different services and you'll basically trade your time for usually free accommodation, free food, different things like that. We found an animal rescue shelter in an area called Konkan, which is the poorest region of Thailand. And WorkAway is called Save Souls Foundation and it's headed by a Swiss lady called Gabriella Leonard who back in 2010 founded this organization that rescued uh, mostly dogs, but there's also cats, pigs, and ducks. And at the moment they have over 500 dogs, 64 of which are disabled, so special needs dogs. 90% of them have been hit by cars. Some of them were rescued from the dog meat trade from neighboring countries. Others were abandoned and rescued from uh, neglectful and abusive situations. And they have found a home at Save Souls. I think the most confronting thing was how many disabled dogs yeah. there were. And um, to see that not many dogs, yeah. think about it, 60, 65 dogs, 65, 65 disabled, disabled dogs, dogs. Yeah. and then there's dogs that they've had to have limbs amputated or it was amazing to see some of the progress that they would have. They've got a hydrotherapy pool there so they try and take at least a few of the dogs out almost every day. Um, they've got wheelchairs there. That one of the, our favorite things to do as well while we, while we were there was to take them out onto the, onto the grass. They love that. They still, you know, want to run around just as much and play fetch and it was probably one of our favorite things while we were there. In fact, most of the dogs had never been in a wheelchair before. Yeah. They'd never been in a doggy wheelchair, so, so it, was, it was quite intimidating for them to put their legs and their arms in the harness for the first time and realize that they can or go walk swimming for the first and the wheels time. will start to turn and they can do what they, you know, the brain get used to what they used to do. Used to be able to do.
We were kind of tasked with the puppy patrol. Yeah, we were, so, pu we were the puppy patrol people. So there was, I think there was maybe 20 to 30 uh, young pups at the centre and they were all separated from the adults and I feel like we tried to give the puppies the best chance for being rehomed re and give, making them priority, um, essentially because they were the youngest and they hadn't had the chance to become intimidated by people and they were still young. Or leashes. Yeah, or... and they were still happy to have a leash and a harness on. They weren't too scared. They freaked out a little bit. But... Initially at the start, but our priority was puppies and trying to get them to socialize as much as we could so to give them the best chance of being rehomed. Good morning. Good morning. You made a mystery out of love. You going all right? Yep. Good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. The tricky part is now trying to get one out of here. Which one are you going to get? <laughs> Looks like you're uh... The young one. Are you ready? <laughs> and they're off. Yes. Are you having a good morning? Where did you come from? Most of these little ones do not like having a harness put on them. <laughs> Stop for half a second. This Jack Russell in particular was rescued by a bunch of activists uh, trying to stop cars that were going to process dogs for the Yule and uh, Dog Meat Festival. So this little guy was rescued from there and he's the most adorable little thing you just can't imagine. Eating him. Eating him, essentially. <laughs> Crazy to think after everything most of these dogs have gone to. Just one love. For loving me, even though I don't deserve it. Sometimes they just don't want to finish the walk. <laughs> you have to realize that you're never going to be able to socialize and be with every one of the 500 dogs there. So inherently you take on one or two dogs, maybe three, four dogs. That you try and work with almost every single day, especially the ones that are particularly nervous and you go up to the cage and they're so excited to see you but as soon as you get in and try and get close to them or try and take them for a walk you realize that petrified. they just they don't like the harness they yeah. don't like the leash they, they're affectionate with you but as soon as you bring that stuff out they just don't like it they shut down they run away um, and we had a few a few dogs that were like that that we tried to work with do you remember speckles yeah speckles speckles white and black dog she was lovely we she, don't know what her actual name was but we named we her nicknamed speckles. her speckles but as soon as you got the leash and harness on her it was just it was a massive challenge <laughs> So we just managed to get the leash and the harness on it. It's probably taken us about 15 minutes to get it from inside out here. And she found the grass and she started eating the grass, which is a good sign, and she relaxed a little bit. And now she's just shut down. 
If I could change a thing, you know, nothing would be changed. And I love you so, and I'm glad you came. <laughs> into my life at such a dark time when I couldn't make a move and I couldn't make a rhyme you picked me up and took me Wagging tail. And if I could change a thing, you know, nothing would be changed. Cause I love you so, and I'm glad. When you do something like that, and. You spend a lot of time on it, but it, like, when you see them come around, it's. So we were lucky enough while we were at Save Souls to be a part of one of their first little ventures that they did. They had never done it before and they decided while we were there that they wanted to take the dogs out on basically like a little field trip. It was an excursion for the day. So all yeah. the volunteers and a few of the staff got together. We picked two dogs, three dogs. Yeah. And we took we them We couldn't out. take more than that unfortunately, but... Because the car's not big enough. Yeah. And then we took them out to the uh, local national park. We went out on a like a walk, hike for the day. It took the dogs out and like the pure excitement in the dogs was just... It was cool to see. Yeah, it was amazing to see. had such an amazing time at Save Souls. We had no expectations coming in. No. The owner, Gabriella, she has an amazing heart. She has a, a, such a big heart for all these animals, yeah. for giving them uh, a sanctuary and a safe space for them to live. The volunteer coordinator, Anna, was just incredible. But something that we loved about it as well is was to see sort of the little community that, that she had created there. You know, she's not just helping these dogs, but she's supporting local people in that area. Her Thai staff have become like her family. And that kind of leads us into the next point. Save Souls is not publicly funded. It's not supported by the government. Part of why we're also making this video is to try and spread some awareness about a number of things. One of them is for anybody looking to buy a dog or welcome a dog into their family, there are just as many dogs in rescue shelters, not just in Thailand, but in Australia, Canada, all around the world, being put in shelters by families for whatever reason, who are desperately looking for homes. Please, if you are considering welcoming a dog or a pet into your family, please consider rescuing a dog from an animal shelter first. Yeah. You'll be so overwhelmed and surprised at how many dogs are waiting to go to their new, and beautiful to, dogs. Their, to their new home. We are setting up a GoFundMe page. The link will be at the bottom. If you can, if you are willing, please donate any sort of money you can to help these dogs in getting them rehomed. The money will do, go directly to the foundation and you'll provide for medication, supplies, toys, equipment, food. New wheelchairs. New wheelchairs for the dogs, equipment for the dogs. They have some really amazing projects in the work that some of this money would be put to really good use. And if you don't want to 
send money through the GoFundMe, you can contact the foundation directly or you can contact us and we will go through them. You can, there's an option to sponsor a dog. Yeah, that's a great option for, as well. You can do it for a dollar a day, for a month, two months, for as long as you like. That money will go directly to the dog and the shelter and you have the opportunity to support and rehome one of their shelter dogs. So our target for the GoFundMe page is to reach $500. If we can reach that target or go above it, that would be even more incredible. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. We know it was a slightly longer video than usual, but... And not what you're usually used to from us. If you are ever looking for volunteer opportunities abroad, please consider Thailand, the Safe Souls Foundation. We'll put the link to the website and the GoFundMe page in the description below. And if you're looking to adopt any dogs, and you've got the money or means to bring any dogs overseas from Thailand, please check out Save Souls because they have so many beautiful dogs there in need of a home. So on that note, thank you again for watching and we will see you guys next week. See yous.